Hello, folk. You might notice that the camera angle has been changed a little bit because this is going on the old or the just plain geezer network. I've had a very traumatic day. The reason it was so traumatic was because when I take a nap or I take a sleep, I don't wear any clothes. I mean, I, I stopped doing that when I was like 13 years old. I don't know why, I just did it. So, um, over a period of time, when somebody knocks on my door and I'm napping, I don't get up and put my clothes on. So there you go, you know, I mean, right away, I think. Well, I thought it was, mm, 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 and it wasn't. It was a friend of mine. But it wasn't the first time I've ever done that before. You know, I was, oh, you're yeah, looking. Yeah, he's kind of careless, very careless. You're, you're looking good. I said, yeah, and, and you're looking a lot younger than I expected. So anyway, The reason that I'm doing this is because there's not going to be any politics, there's not going to be any sex. Well, maybe a little bit. There's not going to be any arguments about it. I just wanted to warn you people that when you answer the door without any clothes on, be prepared. Because if you don't look through the If little, any of you ever do it. They're all too sensible. Whenever you answer the door without any clothes on, ask, who is it? Who is it? Just give me a who is it? So By I the way, to... I have something to tell you. Oh, gee. See, this was supposed to be on my, my geezer network. Now she's going to tell me. I, I got things to tell you right now, and I'm going to tell you right now. That, what did you have to tell me? I fell in love with somebody else. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know how I am when oh, I fall in love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to the Catholic Church, though, because I can tell you what happened over at the Catholic Church that's going to roll your socks down. But anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> it kind of kind of screws up my Catholic Church story here because this, this is a great Catholic, and it just happened to a friend of mine. I've known this guy. He's about what is he? My age? Uh, uh, he's got a 55, 56 year old girlfriend who cooks for him. Takes care of him, looks after him. Yes, because his friend has reformed. Notice he went to church. He's trying not to go to hell. He's quit all his vices, like smoking. He never had any vices. Drinking. He quit those 20 years ago. Oh, well, more power to him. And now he took his girlfriend to church. What could be more lovely? I think his girlfriend took him to church. Right, whatever. Who took who? Well, that's what I mean. Now, uh, what's this? Who have you fallen in love with? He does not drink or smoke, and he goes to church. He doesn't know I've fallen in love with him, but <laughs> not yet. But I thought he'd moved. I've warned her about he things came like back. that. And I saw him the other day, and Jack I fell in instant. No, not Jack. Oh God, no! I, I fell in love with him right again on the spot. Okay. You're trying to upstage me on my own uh, channel here, right? <laughs> well, I thought you should know it before you went on. Well, no, I'm going to tell you what this story is, okay? Because I think it's a damn funny story. Notice I use that damn. Funny story. So, <laughs> <laughs> I 
names will not be superfluous here, they'll be true. So Jack says to me, I don't know what his girlfriend's name is. They get on the bus, Palm Sunday, and there's only one other guy on the bus. On the bus, and they go over to the, wherever the church is around here. They get off, the guy gets off with them. So they're going into the church, you know, for the M-A-S-S. And so uh, the guy follows him. Yeah. Follows him right along, you know, and they go sit down in the pew, and the guy sits down right next to him. And so Jack's getting a little queasy, a little uneasy, you know, and you know, what the hell is going on here? So the, uh, I'm going to shorten this down a little bit. This, you know, the mask goes on, and they, they take, you know, one of the mm -mm, stick in the mouth computer or whatever. And the guy's following him, and, just, and he sits down, and he sits right down next to him. So, um, <laughs> they pass the plate over. You know, they pass the plate, you know, and they put you, the guy puts a hundred dollar bill in there. So, uh, Mr. Jenny says, what the blank is going on here, you know? You've been following us, you put a hundred dollar bill in there. And so this guy says to his girlfriend, Jack's girlfriend, he has a lot of anger in him, doesn't he? And so Jack says, um, well, um, I don't know. And I said, say, uh, how much money did you put in? I put a dollar bill in there. And he said, afterwards, I was going to go out to the priest and tell him that this guy's been stalking us. Stalking us on the bus, stalking us over here, stalking it nowhere. And so, well, for two reasons. First of all, you got to be a long time before you get a stalker, right? I think what you have here is a nutcase. You can't go up and tell a priest that. What are you going to tell him? I think this guy ought to be thrown out of the. You're making this up, right? I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. So I said, you didn't really tell a priest that. He said, well, I was thinking about doing it. I said, well, you can't do that kind of stuff. Then so, and then, then I told him about what happened to you this morning. When you came down here early at 7 o'clock and you were a little on the edgy side because you had been having a fight in the morning and with a dead person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the, I said, lighten up, man. I said, you think you got a problem? I got a woman that comes down here in the morning who was really upset, doesn't happy. A Westward Hope ghost. Because she's been having a fight. She's been seen a couple of a, times. Not in my apartment. Well, she's not, no, naturally she's not yours. Well, why should she get in there? So I was trying to fill in the details. He said, I don't know her. Oh, well, maybe I do know her. You know, maybe, you know, I, I do know this, you know, because. So uh, I said, uh, don't worry about it. You know, you got a, a nice, well, I don't know how nice she is, but she cooks for you. He said, well, I just got some steaks over at Albertsons, and I got some chicken, and she fixes them up in my apartment for me. I said, what are you complaining about? Because some guy on the bus, you know, gets off, follows you in there, puts a hundred... Maybe he was just going to Palm Sunday. He didn't have nothing to do with them. He was just following them. What do you think about that? That's what I said. 
I said, maybe the devil is looking to get you back with a $100 bill. I don't think it was the devil. I think it was probably an angel gave, the priest certainly must have thought it was an angel, gave $100. Well, yeah, of course. What are you expecting? I said, you're making this, you're making this, you know, S-H-I-T up, aren't you? He said, no, it actually happened. <laughs> I said, yes. I said, you see, it's, and that's when I told him your story. And oh boy, yeah, it actually happened. She had this fight with this dead person, you know, so. I said, yeah, it's just one of those yeah. I said, does she drink? He says, no, you don't smoke. You don't drink, you don't smoke. And I deserve some of the dead drink or smoke. I know, you do. And so uh, I have fallen in love, and I don't know. He doesn't know it, but I can't help it, you know, I can't help this thing. And uh, the thing of it is, is it gave me hope again. I know it does. To, so glad to find that guy who does not drink or smoke, is trying to go to, to some place besides hell. And, well, and then my sister told me, she said, uh, well, I think you might be wrong. Uh, who Dog which, probably which, isn't going to die by which, Christmas, which, and you're not going to die si by next Christmas. Which sister are we talking about? And she told me, she oh, said, brother. you're probably just going to fall in love and grow, go ahead and get live happily ever after. It'll be nine years so. And I thought, well, that sounds better. I was trying to get myself ready to die by two years. Well, and now maybe we're just going to part ways. You're, well, that's we're what my, not going to be doing. together. And now he, I said, if you, why don't you bring your girlfriend over here, and we'll put you in and make a video out of it. And if you can't make it, just bring your girlfriend over here, okay? She and cooks. You, and and uh, the thing of it is, you can look for someone who will is going to hell, so she can. <laughs> she can. <laughs> uh, we're with second. you, your life. What about purgatory? <laughs> and you know, you're having a purgatory. You can have a good time together. We're having a purgatory. You don't want someone who's going to hell? What makes you think that I want someone who's going to hell? Be sick at me. <clears throat> Notice I said heck, hard. Now this guy, you know, is it's just he getting back to getting back to what I was saying. <laughs> Old people, <laughs> well, if you don't sleep in the nude, put some clothes on before you answer the door because you never know what this going to No, be. I'll tell you what you better do and you won't ever answer the door naked. Quit. Quit your vices. Straighten up. <clears throat> Think about going, not that you're going to hell and you need to repent. Yeah, and you will never go, I guarantee, if you if you repent and give up your vices, you will not go to the door thank you. Because you will have more consideration. You will say, whatever possessed me to do such a, a decadent thing? It's decadent to go to the door naked. Well, a sign I of should a have decadent stayed, I should have stayed with my third wife. We were... <laughs> We were nudists. Oh, he it lives. It was great. I loved oh, it. Oh, yeah. He, he naked. loved it. He loved it. His, someone told him he looked like a Greek god and he's never forgot. Her mother said that oh, to her. And he, oh, he thinks about that and he's so... Oh. Uh, they were decadent, both of them. They sat around naked. No, wait a minute. Every now, chance they no, got. No, wait a minute. I am still have the body of a god, but it, now it's like um, Buddha. But a Buddha this. on doesn't the Buddha this now. Doesn't sound right? like a very yeah. decadent man? Well, like, doesn't that sound? He's decadent and, you know he hasn't cast off. Cast, cast, rated. His his teenage rebel. Oh. Me, I, I, you know, I have no patience. You know, before I, I, I dreamed last night. I didn't tell you. That I thought another that, uh, one, another dream. Yes, I had another dream, and I dreamed Hallelujah. that uh, I met up with somebody who kind of seemed to be in law enforcement, and 
I realized it was Mel Gibson. Oh, yes, I've dreamt And about I was very attracted to him. I have dreamt about him so many times. And Mel Gibson uh, was very oh. attracted to me. And then all of a sudden I saw him in his eyes. They just glazed over. Uh, he acted like, hey, I can get any, I can get somebody 20 years old. That I, you know, I'm sorry, but you're out of luck. You're kidding. You know Mel how old Gibson he is didn't now? didn't want me. You know how old he is now? And you know who I, I think he was just standing for? Jack. That last guy. You know, you can meet guys who uh, this, who act it, like this movie is a stars. different Jack. You know. He was corrupt, you know. He he was uh he liked to get all the women to fall in love with him, you know, just like Mel Gibson. And I then did not know that. He would break all her hearts. Uh, proceed to uh, flirt right in front of them, show them that he didn't give a fig about them or know, anybody Gibson. else. So I thought, my God, no wonder I could do anything with him. He was another Mel Gibson. Who? Jack. Oh, yeah. That Jack. Yeah. And now I'm completely over that Jack. You know what? He got evicted for bad behavior, for you, his corrupt Obviously, behavior. you've been jacked around a lot, haven't you? Somebody jacked no, you No, yeah, well, no, he never got near me because I wasn't skinny enough for him or anything else. I wasn't young enough. Well, I he didn't knew see you that he could get a lot better. There. And so, but he still wanted to keep hold of everybody. He's one that like 50 girlfriends. And isn't that like Mel Gibson? I'm sure. He's got 50 well, girlfriends at least like all over the night. Oh, I know. I don't have I any know. girlfriends. I, I got know. you, but that's... And that's he has utmost contempt for situation. me. He doesn't yeah. have any uh, use for me any more than Mel Gibson does. Who? You. I, because you love your vices more than you me. You'd rather go to hell any day of the week. If I tell you, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to clean up your act. Well, I can't go on with you. You'd say you cleaned up your ass. I'm sorry. You did the dishes this I'm morning. I'm corrupt. You did the dishes this morning, and that scared the hell I out of me. I love my corruption. Oh, yeah. I love my philosophy of life that enables me to go to the tour naked. I just What's wrong like with being that? me. What's, I thought it was you. He never gets tired. Of being I thought it was you. Oh, is that an excuse when I don't even like that behavior? That he's into torture, you know. He he knows I hate it when he comes to torture. Yeah, out of a sleep. I because it, it reminds you. me of how much he has lost. It's a facade. It's fake. You know, he has no feelings. So why would a man come to the door naked? Because I thought it was you. Uh, it's to try to put on the facade of being a sexual human being when that's the last thing on his mind, the last thing that he wants to do. He just likes to wait dis a minute. I instantly wanna, think about wait a minute. it. I want to do it, but oh, God has but played a no. nasty trick on me. Uh, yes. Yes. After he gave 50, you an appetite. Yeah, right. For After 50, forget it. No. If you have appetites like this, after 50, forget it. Right. You won't be able to do a thing. But it's so wonderful. This vice just enthralls him. I know. He's dedicated to it. And That's right. So what can I do? I just fall in love with someone else. I'm sorry. I, I know. Fall. I fall. I never fall in love with you. And this time I hope he's not. I hope he's a little better guy than Mel Gibson was. I certainly hope so. <laughs> yeah, for my sake. I don't think I could take another Mel. I was in love with Mel Gibson when I met him, and I tried to substitute him for Mel Gibson while they was both poor excuses for boyfriends. You're you're the one of the worst boyfriends I have ever had. You have given me less pleasure. Uh, you know what they call. <laughs> I mean, we've had a lot of laughs. <laughs> He's a jokester, <laughs> but I said, but there's, it, it's not complete. And I have a body, my God, my eyes are practically to, to I'm just practically using my eyesight just because I spend so much time on the computer. I spend so much time doing 
stuff that doesn't involve people. He, because what does he do? He sits here, watches TV all day long. Reruns. Bob Newhart. Yes. Mary Tyler Moore. Betty White. And he sits and dreams about Betty White. Is that what you I never said that. You're making that crap <laughs> up. <laughs> Every day I come in and there's a young Betty White and he's watching her. I swear, that's not me. I am not turned, even though I might be 80, I've got to start being more physical. I cannot, I'm just turning into, you know, this is why I'm in danger. Of because what? I'm spending too much time in the internet, I'm not interacting with real I people. I told you that, but you don't But I don't it. have you to react to. You're spending too much time watching that thing. You don't do anything at all. You don't interact with people. You well, don't even interact with me. I interacted with, you know, who coming through the door, and then he's telling me about his interactive girlfriend. Yes. Well, I go, went to the dentist this go, morning, oh, and I walked. He hadn't been to the dentist for years, because he don't do things like that. Those are stuff that he has left behind. Uh, you don't want to get close to him because he's got a mouth full of... <laughs> Listen, I, 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 I clean my teeth every three... I'm, I've got to clean my teeth I have so months. many diseases in uh, my mouth. Uh, if I breathe no, on myself, I asked the I doctor, I said, him. will he die Holy of advanced, crap. super advanced gum disease? He might, he said, but, you know, he don't tend to die of that. So, I don't know how he's going to escape dying because he doesn't go to the doctor. He doesn't do anything they tell him to do. But he still lives on. He's the immortal. The immortal. Oh, here we come with the immortal <laughs> alcoholic, right? Oh, you said that word. <laughs> she watches a blog. I thought it was better immortal alcoholic. for me to tell what the him crap is that in his own about? video that I'd fallen in love. With a guy. Oh, you had. I didn't even know there was any guys, even anywhere near my age, that were, were reformed. That actually uh, don't have these vices, and they. Uh, I think he even wears a cross. Oh, jeez. So. You know, for a decoration or something, and I just think that's wonderful. L listen to him. He's oh, Jesus, see. He's I didn't say that. I said, Sneer. He's sneering at this guy. I'm not He's sneering, sneering at, at religion. Is the what? What is religion? It is bunch of baloney, or what is it you say? No. George Carlin agreed with me, and he said, the only thing good... George! George! <laughs> Carlin! Carlin! You know, his, the only, his, thing, his. The only thing good that came out of religion was the music. Oh. Otherwise, they're killing each oh. other all the time. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we're going yes. to have to split this. You know. Oh, decadence. I'm going way over my limit. Oh, we're going to have to split sorry. it. Oh, don't tell me that! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off while we can still. I'm sorry, You're people. You're way past the limit. Uh -huh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I know. See, I knew that you were going to get wound up when I told you that. I answered the door without any clothes. Ah, ah. I swear to God, if I ever hear, hear him say that one more time, if he does that one more time. <laughs> See, that is my reaction. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's coming back to three years old. Here, mommy. Here, mommy. I don't I never, have any clothes when on. When I was three years old, I never answered the door. <laughs> I couldn't reach up that high. Holy crap, you didn't answer the door. Doesn't that remind you of a three-year-old? Hey, mommy, I don't have any clothes on. No, I, it is. My mother always clothes me. See, he has no shame. You can't do anything to him. You can't reach him. He's just... In the world, it's just, I, there's no words to express it. I know. Uh, there is no words just to express it. Disgusting. I'm sure 
I'm sorry. Yeah, it's disgusting. I, I have to leave the I have to leave the arena of the video because I said I said. Okay. But you're not gonna buy, you're gonna put this up. Well turn it off then, buddy. Sorry. See what I have to put up with. Fifty-five-year-old woman. Not bad.